Today we have a ton of secrets and easter eggs to go through with the brand new Frosty Fest event that has to do with the new topper, the new goal explosion, and more. Click the link in the description if you guys want to get cheaper keys, Xbox slash PS4 memberships, and other stuff for games. I've used their gift card section to get discounts on the hundreds of keys I've bought for crate openings and it's seriously just an awesome site. But anyways guys, yeah, we have about five secrets, actually quite a bit more than that, but some of them are small, some of them are kind of honorable mentions. But basically, I've kind of put it into like five categories, five main secrets, so to say. And overall, it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time, and I'm excited to bring it back. And I'm probably going to have to do one for the Velocity Crate as well. But yeah, if you guys are excited as I am, be sure to hit that like button down below. And without further ado, let's jump into it with the first secret. Alright guys, so starting it off with the first one, this one is technically small than the others. You gotta start out with the small ones and work your way to the bigger secrets. Like the secret with the goal explosion is actually really really cool. But let's start out with some of the toppers that you can get from the store in the game. So as you guys know with the special event, the Frosty Fest event, you just go into the redeem rewards section and you have a ton of toppers and other items to choose from. Now one of the more interesting ones are actually there's two toppers in here that I want to talk about right now. Now the first thing I want to talk about here is the snowboards topper. Now you might have already noticed this on your own and that's kind of why this is the first first one, the small one, but when you go onto the snowboards topper and take a look at the top of it, you can see that the snowboards themselves actually have special graphics on them. Now if you didn't notice what they are, the blue one has the Rocket League graphic on it, as you can see it clearly says Rocket League, and then it also even has the Rocket League logo on the left hitting the ball with the octane. So that's really cool on its own, but then on the orange one it has the Psionics logo, which you can clearly see it's the Psionics logo just kind of, you know, blown up and it kind of just takes the middle section of it, but there's no doubt that it is definitely their logo. But yeah, that's a cool little one, but it's pretty obvious. I think you guys probably caught that on your own if you happen to look at it closely enough. But the second one is also another cool one that I talked about, but I also want to take a closer look at this one because it is very funny. So this one is the holiday stocking. As you guys maybe have seen in one of my previous videos, I talked about this. But the holiday stocking, obviously it has the Rocket League logo on the side, but inside of it, if you look very, very closely, it has a bunch of Christmas crates inside of it. Now just looking at it in the Redeem Rewards section, you can't get a very good look at it. So let's go into a replay here with this antenna on my car and as you can see as we get closer you can get a very clear look that those are indeed crates. They even have the little details on the sides, the corners have that separate, you know, shape to them. But it is pretty funny that they put a bunch of crates inside of here. I also find that it's funny that it's not the Secret Santa crate. If you take a look at the Secret Santa crate, it's actually like the opposite colors of the one that is in the stocking. The one in the stocking has like green as the main part and then the edges are red and white. But then with the Secret Santa crate, it is mainly red with green and white edges. But either way, those are just a couple of fun secrets with these smaller items in the crate. Now as for the second one, this one has to do with painted variants. That is very odd that these just exist in the first place. So before we jump into it, I want to give credit to Mr. Tryhard Show. I watched one of his videos where he went through some of the painted items where he talked about these, but basically if you go back into the Redeem Rewards section and go down to the Polar Force decal, this decal actually has painted variants. Now obviously that is really, really weird because you cannot get painted variants of stuff from the store. Now you might think I'm lying here, but if you're able to use Alpha Console and actually have a painted endo decal, do not try to do this with another painted decal. As you can see, I tried to do it on the Octane and it did not work. <laughs> I don't know, it's actually kind of cool that it covers the windows and kind of blocks them out in this blue or whatever color you choose, but for some reason it would not let me switch the colors on the Octane. So big thanks to Mr. Tryhard Show again for letting me use his video, but as you can see, clearly it comes in all painted colors. I think it's all 13 actually, but you've got titanium white, crimson, cobalt, stuff like that, and I mean they look good for a painted decal. Painted decals aren't really that crazy anymore, but again, it's interesting because you're not able to get these painted versions. Now I believe the reason for this is possible possibly that the polar force was meant to be in the crate. It would make sense because obviously all of the decals that are in the crate currently can come painted, and this one fits in with those decals. So it's possible they made an extra one, maybe they were planning on putting five in the crate and just decided to put this one in the rewards shop instead. That would make sense to me, but either way, it's pretty interesting. Now then for the third fact, this one is very similar to the polar force one, but is personally more interesting to me. So as I've talked about in the past, this promotional image that they put up for the frost 
Frosty Fest event. If you take a look at the Dominus, on top of it, it has the holiday bow, but in a different color from the one that we are able to get. As you can see in this image, it's kind of a lime, maybe saffron, I'm not exactly sure which color it is, but I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to notice that that is clearly not red. So obviously, it's not the version that we're able to get. Now that by itself is interesting, but what's even more interesting is that the holiday bow can actually come in all 13 colors. Now that doesn't mean that you can obtain it in all 13 colors, I'm pretty sure as of right now you can only get it in the red color because you can't get painted items from the shop. But if you take a look here at this video, I was able to use Alpha Console to change everything around, and as you can see, every painted color exists for this topper. Everything from crimson, cobalt, saffron, lime, pink, titanium white, every color exists. And I mean, they look pretty good for a topper, it's nothing too insane. But again, it's very funny that somebody at Psyonix had the job of making every painted version for these. It's not an automatic process, somebody has to do this manually, make every painted version, and that makes it even more confusing that these exist, but we're not able to get them. And again, that's made even more weird that the fact that they put a painted version in the promotional picture. So I don't know what their plan was, maybe there was a way to get these painted, maybe they were going to do something like when you redeemed your holiday bow it would give you a random color, which would have actually been really cool, I would have really preferred that. Or I don't know, maybe like one separate one that comes in a different color. But either way, I don't think these are going to be coming into the game anytime soon, but it's really an interesting thing to take note of. Now speaking of taking note of stuff, I actually just realized this as we were going through some of the images, and this one is just an honorable mention, but if you go into the rewards shop, or the menu before the rewards shop, the special events kind of screen, if you know what I mean, I noticed that down here on the endo, the peppermint wheels, for some reason the circle on the outside is gray instead of the red that you have on the normal peppermint wheels. Like clearly, as you can see, you go into the crate, the peppermint wheels have that red on the outside circle, and then if you go back to the image, they are instead white or gray. Now clearly these aren't painted, because gray or white or whatever color you have replaces the red stripes on the peppermint wheels. But again, on this image, the red stripes are still normal. So I don't know, maybe this is an early image of the wheels before they decided to change it to red. Unfortunately, we can't see the tread. That would be pretty interesting to take a look at. But either way, it's just a funny little thing I noticed. Now then for number four, this is my personal favorite. Number five is still good, but number four it has to do with an actual Easter egg and a ton of secrets with the goal explosion. So the goal explosion from the secrets Santa crate, the happy holidays. As you guys already know, it, it shoots out a ton of presents, ton of lights, and also has a nice Christmassy sound to go with it. Now, as soon as I saw this one, I knew I had to take a closer look at it because there has to be something, something secret on one of those presents. So that is why I decided to go into a private match, just record myself hitting the ball into the net, and then when you go into the replay, you can take a closer look at these presents. Now, there's a few interesting things, but we'll start off here with, if you go to the yellow present and take a look at the wrapping paper on it, you can see that there's a ton of little bears on it, which is really funny because bears just don't really fit into this at all. But either way, the bears have their own little like hats on, it's very Christmassy, and it's just kind of an interesting thing because I don't believe this is on a decal, maybe it is somewhere, but it is funny that somebody designed this little logo and put it on something that most people wouldn't even see. And then along with that, it's also pretty cool that some of these lights kind of like follow you around. This is an effect Psyonix uses a lot, especially with some boosts where they just put in 2D textures that look 3D and make it so it constantly faces the player so that they don't have to individually render like a 3D object. Now then for the ultra secret, the easter egg, when you pause and take a look at this explosion, try and find one of the longer presents, the long and flat one, the monopoly board shape. Take a look at one of those presents and once you look at the side of it, you can see that it actually has a to and from sticker on it and it says to Morgie from Seanstone. Now you guys probably don't know who that is, but if you take a look at the credits that are under the extras section of the game, you can see that it's from these two people right here. So obviously Morgie is Morgan and then Sean Stone is uh, Sean Stone. <laughs> but I would believe that these two people worked on this explosion. And it's a funny little Easter egg because they put their names on these just for the people like us that would take a look at them in the replay and look super close at them. I don't know. I thought that was really cool. Now then one other extra little thing here real quick. I just noticed that if you take a look at the image or the thumbnail for the Happy Holidays, there's a present here that isn't in the goal explosion. It's this green, yellow, and white one. Kind of circular one as well. This one is not in the actual in-game version of the explosion. I don't know why they decided to cut it out. Maybe because it would be too close to the circular cylinder one that is already in there. But either way, kind of an interesting thing to see. Now then moving on guys to another thing from the replay and the final secret of this episode.
episode. This one has to do with the peppermint wheels, which I found kind of interesting. But if you go up to them in a replay and take a look at the inside of them, you can see that the inside is also that sort of metallic red color. Now this is kind of interesting because it's something that you wouldn't really see. I guess you could maybe see it if you're flying upside down or flipping, but it's funny that they put in the work to change this color around for part of the wheel that you wouldn't really see. Now what's even funnier about that is if you take a look inside of the tread, you can see that that entire part on the inside is colored that bright red. And I believe this actually changes colors with painted versions. I wasn't able to check. I would assume so, but not 100% sure. And if you guys haven't seen the painted version of the peppermints, there are some very interesting ones. And it's kind of funny because it's like there's a lime flavored version, an orange flavored version, pink lemonade flavored version. It's just kind of weird seeing all these candy wheels in the game. But either way, it's just kind of cool overall. But anyways, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to subscribe for more. Along with that, you can check out some of my previous videos, such as opening up a bunch of the secret Santa crates with some Christmas music in the background, and then on the right going through all of the painted wonderment wheels. But other than that guys, again I hope you enjoyed today's video, I'm the Llama Sir, and I will see you guys next time.